conditions issued reports saying we were heading for three degrees of heating. This no is the moment Sarah was arrested in November for the third condition. time as part of a Just Stop Oil demonstration. Detained for slow walking on Whitehall, she's still awaiting trial. Whilst she doesn't regret her actions, the court's backlog is taking its toll on Sarah and her fellow activists. It's very difficult to deal with a court case that, is, that takes two years before you find yourself in front of a jury. Those things are difficult. Yeah, it absolutely does take a toll on people. Long delays have been blamed on arrests from demonstrations on top of significant government cuts to the court system. And former Met Police Commissioner Lord Hogan Howe has suggested courts should be made to sit 24-7 to help tackle the backlog. The number of protests that, that we are seeing or the amount of civil resistance we're seeing to the government is indicative of our failing politics. So what is driving Just Stop Oil and people like Just Oil to be on the streets is not going to be taken away by yet another piece of public order legislation. But this isn't the first time 24-hour courts have been introduced. Keir Starmer, in his previous role as Director of Public Prosecutions, brought them in in 2011 in an effort to cut the arrest backlog from that year's summer riots. We saw back in 2011 that running courts uh, at different hours of the day, for example in the evening, was a very good response to what was a sudden upset in violence and laws. Uh, and I think it should be something that we um, should at least be ready to do. The current backlog is in part caused by the spike in protest arrests following the Hamas October 7th attacks. 600 people have since been detained. Of that, 36 charges have so far been made specifically from pro-Palestine protests. And 338 charges as a result of Just Stop Oil action in 2023. Slashing the backlog with 24-7 courts could help victims see justice sooner. But will those in the legal profession be willing to do the heavy lifting while government cuts see them carry the can for delays? Mari Aurora, Sky News.